The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the July 25th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, well, is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that. And that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Would love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question, but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you got all the U.S. indices pointing north, printing out green. You've got the Dow, it's up five points. The S&P's up six. The NASDAQ, 169. Russell's up six. Semi's up 54. Trenny's up 12. Gold's up three. Silver's up 29 cents. Lights Recruit is up 37 pennies. Natural gas is up just slightly. And the 30-year Treasury back a half a point. Trade down at 125.22. The leader to the upside, MSCI up 32 bucks, Monolithic Power Systems 21, HubSpot 14, MedPay 16, Packaging Corp of America up 14, that's a 10% move. To the downside, off 20 bucks is Spotify, Hubble down 16, Raython down 13, Biogen off 12, and BlackRock is off 11, that's about a 2% move to the downside. So, how many out there believe that the market is getting ready to top? Let me see that show of hands. How many believe that the market is getting ready to just simply continue to move higher? That's really the question that you and I need to answer. Now, the way that we answer that is we take a look at stock patterns. We take a look at what the market is communicating to us. So first, let's go take a look at the equity future contracts. Let's start there. We'll take a look at those daily equity future contracts out here because we're gonna let the market really answer that question for us. so i got one raised hand out there looks like dan now dan was that for a topping market or was that for a market that's getting ready to take off top side well if we take a look at the es mini the pattern that we have out here that has confirmed a top so far as a roadsman indicator top now all the price is doing right now is consolidating with inside its daily profile the es mini would have to close below 44.56 to signal to you and I a change in trend. But nonetheless, the ES Mini has a top. So too does the NQ. The NQ also forming a Rhodes Mintum Indicator top doing that four days ago. Price, as we talked about during the 11 o'clock update, is closed below the bottom of its daily bullish structure profile for two consecutive sessions. That says the center of that profile should be resistance. Now, on my white background charts, I have different profile levels. The black background chart shows the center of the box at 15,681. That's the level to be watching is 15,681. If price closes above that, then what we would say is price is going to make its way up to its oscillator and change line right around the 15,872 level. That is not the condition we have at the moment. If we take a look at the Dow, and I believe that the market has been waiting for the Dow to top, and that top completes today and that would be a TD9 count. Now there's an A to B equals CD pattern and if we were to get a bearish reversal candle that would just be a secondary top out there. Do we need that top? No. Would we like that top? Absolutely. We'd like a bearish reversal candle just to confirm that okay we should continue to head south. But the ES has a top, the NQ has a top, the Dow has a top and so too now and so too does Russell 2000. Russell 2000 
formed a TD9 count top. But it also has wave number seven out there. You don't need two tops. You just need one. And we've got that TD9 count top. So all four equity future contracts today will have or should have. Now, of course, if the market takes off and it takes out the highs of the ES and the NQ, then that would be off the table. And the same thing would be if the Russell 2000. But short of that taking place, we will have topping patterns in all four of the U.S. equity future contracts. That is signaling to us that at least we should see price pulling back to support. Inside the ES mini, that should be 44.56. Inside the Dow, that should, well, who knows where that's going to be. There probably will be a new profile, but right now the level will be 34,544. And inside the Russell, it's down at the 1942 level. Do we stop there? And the answer is we do not. Now, let me just close this set of charts out here just so I free up a little bit of space. Let's go take a look at cash indices out here. So now we go take a look at the cash indice charts. Let's see what they're communicating to you and I. Here we begin with the upper left-hand corner is the Dow Jones Cash Index. You also see the A to B equals CD, but you see a TD9 count top. That pattern completes today. The S&P 500, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The NDX 100, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. In the case of the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 on the cash indice does not have a topping pattern in place just yet. The semis, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The transports, nothing yet. The uh, NASDAQ Composite Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. And the New York Stock Exchange completed a TD9 count top yesterday. Now, that makes yesterday's high code as a bar following bar number nine, muy importante. If the NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange, were to close above 16, whoops, 16, 398.07, that top gets negated. Short of that, it too has a top in place. So we take a look at the U.S. indices. The majority of them have tops in place. Let's not stop there. Let's go take a look at the uh, index ETFs. Let's take a look at the sectors with inside the S&P 500. Let's go ahead and switch panels first. Let's get to the, no, that's not the spot we wanted to be. We wanted to be here. And now let's go change screens. And we'll just stay with this screen. We'll go over to the other one. If we take a look at the energy sector, the XLE, no top in place. And what this is doing, or is likely doing, is targeting its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. That's up to the 8668 area. That's what it's signaling to you and I. If we take a look at the XLI, Roachman to indicator top price below, profile levels should head lower. TD9 count top when you take a look at the XLI. So the first one was the XLY, this is the XLI. Price needs to close below 108.29 to suggest a move to 106.22. A TD9 count top is likely to form today inside the XLP. The XLU likely targeting 69.39 is TD9 count breakdown level. In the case of the XLB, this thing is on fire. No topping signal, it's in place out here other than a wave seven a wave seven needs a lower high that could take place tomorrow we have a wave seven also inside the xlre that needs a lower high that could not take place until tomorrow smhs have a roads mintum indicator top let's go ahead and change screens out here let's go over to my other screen the other screen is going to show us begin with the etfs the SPY, Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. The Q's, Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. The Diamonds, a TD9 count top, will complete today. The IWM, a TD9 count top. The XLK, a Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. The XLY, likely to complete a TD9 count top today. The XLF, completed a TD9 count top yesterday. The XLC, a Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. Let me ask that question again. Does anybody think that the market is getting ready to top? support levels must be broken. That's the real key to all of those topping charts that we just looked at. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, folks. Uh, so on to uh, requests out here because we've got many of them. The first one is coming in from uh, Dizzle inside the Tiger Stand. Why don't you take a look at the gold contract? If we take a look at the gold contract out here, you can see on the monthly basis price right now, dealing with its oscillator and change line to close above that level. That level right now, 1959, will suggest a further move higher out here. We've got gold just consolidating with inside its weekly profile. It's between 1911 and 1995. TD9 count top that formed in the daily time frame. That pulled price right back to where it should have. The oscillator and change line that is a likely level of support we'll certainly know that when price takes out the high out here and that's up at the 1988.30 that would set up an a to b equals cd to the upside but for all intents and purposes if stevie is right on gold it formed its next bottom today um anything else for us to take a look at here on gold nothing else that i see out there so let's move on to the next request from dizzle now was to take a look at light sweet crude so we'll pull up those charts as well light sweet crude as i mentioned earlier and the show should continue to move higher. Its target is price target, light sweet crude, that is. Give me a moment here, make sure we're on the same page. We are on the same page. Light sweet crude should target its next A to B equals CD, which is not drawn on these charts here. That price target is 80.68. If you look at the monthly chart, price is likely targeting 83.20. The weekly chart, just a good old fashioned large consolidation pattern. And again, the A to B equals CD pattern on the daily time frame. no other topping signal, price should continue to move higher there. Let's move on to the next request. The next request is to take a look at, first let me close this out. Next request was to take a look at Twilio. We take a look at TWLO as a ticker symbol. We'll get over there momentarily. Twilio. Boom. TWLO on a daily time frame, you've got price, got a Rosemont indicator top. It's now got an A to B equals CD to the downside. Price is below the bottom of its daily profile, likely to head lower. The A to B pattern, we'll just simply draw that in. We'll just move that over to the C point real quickly here, right there. So if Twilio did form a bullish reversal candle, that would generate a Gartley sell pattern. Short of that, price should continue to move lower. 
On the weekly time frame chart, I just show price trading between breakout support at 42.78 and breakdown resistance 66.78. Let's move over to the next request. Next request was to take a look at ENVX. ENVX has a wave number seven top out here, likely an A to B equals CD that was also confirmed with that bear sash candle. Price is now below the bottom of its daily profile. This is the third consecutive day. That suggests a change in trend. It tells us that price wants to target 13.71. The weekly time frame chart a TD9 count top completes this week bar number nine was last week price should target its oscillator and change line 1649 becomes the print the monthly chart found resistance at the top of that weekly profile next one up Carvana CVNA so we take a look at CVNA this foreign bay TD9 count top had that nice big move to the upside and guess what that did all that did was set up that TD9 count top now what price has done here it's pulled back it's tested support support is the oscillator and change line the oscillator and change line has held. This is now a neutral signal here because you've got a top and you've got key levels of support that have held. The weekly chart shows a TD9 count top was negated. So this suggests that it wants to move higher. So the daily time frame says, okay, that top just pulled back to support. We've held, we should continue to move higher. That is Carvana. The next request out here and uh, is coming from, also from uh, uh, from inside the Dan, I think that was APS Cigar Plant Palantir out here. TD9 count, roads momentum indicator top. Price right now dealing with the bottom of its profile. If price can close below 1644, we're looking at 1495. On the monthly, weekly time frame, a, P a TD9 count top with price consolidating with inside its profile out there. So that the APS, I know you wanted one other one, I believe it was BBYO, BBIO. We'll try to come back to that uh, as soon as we get through the uh, other requests that are inside the uh, Tiger's Den. So let's try to get to those. So I know I blew through those quickly, but that's because there were so many requests for that, and I don't want to get too far behind. But it looks like I may be catching up here and may need more requests. But let's take a look at JP Morgan. This is for G Motion inside the Tiger's Den. This will take just a moment here to populate. And we take a look at JP Morgan waiting for that daily to tell us where we're at on the weekly. We can see a TD9 count top. On the daily, TD9 count top completed yesterday. So in order for JP Morgan to suggest that it wants to really run higher, you need to see a close above yesterday's high, 158.79. Short of that, price should at least pull back to its oscillator and change line. Currently printing at 154.52. If price were to close below that, we'd be looking at a move back to 145.71 per the daily time frame. Weekly chart, TD9 count top likely to complete this, likely to confirm this week, complete next week. But you got that daily topping signal. So for all intents and purposes, likely that top is in. Now the weekly monthly chart shows an A to B equals C D pattern. The B point of this did volume. This was the month of February 2023, 169 million shares. Last month it was passed with 206 million. So now you've got on a monthly basis a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside inside of JP Morgan. Getting confused now? Now, of course, the question I would have is, are you a long-term trader? Are you a short-term trader? What kind of trader are you? If you were a long-term trader, long-term portfolio, we would have no reason to tell you to jettison your position other than to say fasten your seatbelt because there's turbulence ahead. But on a monthly basis, you have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, gets you below the 169.81 level. That is its TD9 count breakdown resistance. So overall, with regard to JP Morgan, at a minimum, we should see pull back to its daily oscillator and change line. If price gets below that, we should expect a further pullback with the 147 level being the likely target. So G Motion, I do hope that helps you out with regard to JP Morgan. Thanks so much for the request. The next request is uh, coming in from Code Inside the Tiger's End. Watch they go TPL. So let's get T. Well, we may have a caller on the line, and if that's the case, then uh, what we'll have to do is we'll have to come back to this one. So we'll do that there, Coda. Let's go out to Ray in Sarasota. Ray, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing well and hope you are uh, also. Uh, I question am. today about NAT. Yep. Uh, yep. Looking to figure out uh, how high this can go on the run, the current run, and where support might be. Well, let's talk about resistance first. So you're, you've got a couple different resistance levels, or maybe you have the same one. Let me see. So I'm looking at the monthly time frame chart. The monthly time frame chart formed a TD9 count top. That was the month of March of 2023. That high out there is 465. 465 is your monthly resistance. If I look at the weekly time frame chart, 
465 is the top of the profile. If I take a look at the daily chart out here, price is dealing with resistance right now. And that resistance level is from the high of May 22nd. The reason that's resistance is the following day was a bearish engulfing candle. That sets up resistance at 416. So Ray, what I would say, and taking a look at the charts this way, if price is able to close above 416, you then are likely to see a move up to the 465 level. You also asked about support. On a daily time frame, support would be at about 385. I say about because 385 is a green oscillator and change line. If price pulls back, that number will pull down. The top of its daily profile, at least the current one that's in place at 374. Weekly support down at about 393. And monthly support, I would say 351. So overall, you're dealing with that four, I think it was 416 level. And if you can clear that, then 465. Now, Price is going into that swing point. This is on a daily basis. That's a swing point from the trading day of May 22nd. 7.3 million shares traded hands that day. Today, so far, Nordic American tankers were up with 2 million shares. So it would appear that you're pushing into that swing point with volume. Hey, Ray, we're about to go to a break. Digest that. And then let me know what additional questions I can answer when we come back. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be back with Ray and Sarasota. We'll take a look at Nordic American tankers. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. All USNC is still trading to the upside. Uh, we're taking a look at Nordic American tankers. We're on the line with Ray in Sarasota. Uh, so, Ray, after uh, that uh, little analysis of the daily, weekly, and the monthly charts for Nordic American tankers, what questions does that pose for you that I can also help with? Well, you, you really uh, answered my questions, and I was kind of looking at the same numbers that, uh, that you uh, talked okay. about today. Perfect, uh, perfect. Uh, it, the position I've had for a long time, I trade it, and I have a core position, and they have a healthy dividend, so uh, it's a stock I love. Uh, if you've got time for one more, sure. uh, energy transfer uh, products, uh, ET, can ET. you give me uh, a similar uh, perspective on, on that stock? Absolutely. So we're getting so this formed a TD9 count top yesterday for its daily time frame. So that says that the key high that you're watching is yesterday's high. That's 1330. If you were to see a close above that, that would tell you about a strong momentum move for the daily time frame. Now, the daily time frame has an A to B equals CD pattern out here. So let's go ahead and draw that in. We'll draw in the A to B, and I'm just simply going to move that to the uh, C point of this, just so we get a uh, kind of a price projection out here. And that price projection, Ray, would take us up into the 1383 level. Now, we're not calling that just yet. I would only call that if we saw a close above yesterday's high. And again, that number's at 1330. That's what the daily time frame chart is communicating to us. On a weekly basis, uh, price is consolidating with inside its bullish structured profile prices above its green oscillator and change line that tells you and i price wants to go target 1367 we're above profile on the monthly basis so that says price wants to go target its recent highs out there so it's the daily chart that is really the uh, cog in the wheel right here now even though it formed a td9 count top yesterday its overall signal ray is neutral and the reason that it's neutral is because price is above the top of its daily profile and price is above a green oscillator and change line so you're waiting to see if price can take out yesterday's high if it doesn't what should occur is price should pull back to test that oscillator and change line that would be at 1314 right now if that holds then it just says it's probably on its merry way up to that 1367 or above that, that A to B equals CD pattern out there. Any question? Any further questions about ET as far as the analysis? No, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy to hear your opinion on that because I want to sell some call options against a core position. So uh, that's that's very, very helpful. Perfect. You, Glad uh, to be of help. You helped me a lot today. Perfect. Hey, Ray, always good to speak to you. Have a, a terrific uh, Tuesday, and we'll look forward to our next uh, chat. Same to you as well. Thanks you again. Bet. You bet. That was Ray in Sarasota. Let's go back to Coda's question, which I believe was TPL. Uh, TPL, we've got the charts up on our screen. So when we take a look at TPL, let me expand out the daily chart out here. Forms a wave seven out here, uh, wave number seven bottom. That's a letter G out there. Uh, looks like you've got an A to B equals CD that has formed has it taken out the b point with volume b point july 13th volume there 26,000 shares and then yesterday volume 27,000 shares so you do have a confirmed a to b equals cd the upside but your resistance level is night is uh 15 54 62 now let's draw on the a to b equals cd pattern out here so there's our a to b i'm just going to now, I'm just going to move this over to the C point. It's going to be pretty close right there. So you've got a confirmed A to B equals C to get you up towards 1574. But know that at that 1554 level, you've got resistance out here. No reason that it shouldn't continue to move higher. Do you worry about yesterday's shooting star candle? In Stevie's case, the answer is no. It's more just kind of uh, interesting information, doesn't represent the top. Uh, bullish or bearish reversal candles are most important at the top or bottom of the pattern. And we don't have that as we speak right now. On a weekly time frame chart, this has a road momentum indicator signal with price right now trading above the top of its weekly profile. You're looking for a close of a 1487.83 uh, quota. If you got that, that suggests a change in trend on the weekly time frame out here. You're dealing with monthly resistance up at the uh, 15, 17, 79 level. That's the bottom of its monthly profile. You'd like to see it close above that. So overall, with regard to TPL, yesterday you confirmed an A to B equals CD to the upside. You've got resistance to the 1554 area out there. 
Other than that, things look pretty good. Now, when I say pretty good, TPL has been on one heck of a roll out here. Let's take a look at that roll. That roll is going to lead to perhaps seven consecutive closes to the upside. It doesn't do that very often. So what you should really also be expecting out here, Coda, for reasons I can't explain other than just knowing the dance steps out here, is there should be about a two-day pullback at a minimum. I would say, no, I'd say just a two-day two -day pullback inside of TPL out here. So I hope that helps you out. Not a very liquid stock, uh, but at fifteen hundred uh, dollars a share, I guess that uh, at twenty-six thousand. Twenty? How many shares? Did I say twenty-six thousand. You said was that it? It was. 27,000. Anyway, that's the analysis uh, coda for TPL. Hope that that helps you out. Peak G wanted to take a look at, we also wanted Nordic American Takers. So we got that one out of the queue. But the next one is ASC. So we take a look at ASC. We've got price uh, closed above the top of its daily profile yesterday, trade above it today. It's targeting a resistance level established by that bear sash candle that formed on the trading day of July 6th. So your resistance area is up at the 1324 level. Now, as we pull this back just a bit more, all that we really see out here is a good old-fashioned sideways consolidation. So if that consolidation can, be, get, can get broken, let's take a look at this here. Let's pull this back. Let's get the drawing tool out, the rectangular tool. Here we go. I don't always draw this in exact, but I get it pretty darn close. So there's the bottom is really pretty well identified out here. And if we get it close above this consolidation, now what you really have to use for this is you've got to use that resistance point. And that takes us of uh, that bear session. That takes us all the way up there. So if we get it close above this high, 1324, that's going to set up a consolidation measured move that should get us up towards about the 1479 area. Now that's coming from the daily time frame. Let's go see what ASC has for us on the weekly time frame. And that is just simply this. It formed a TD9 count bottom. That bottom formed right out here on June 30th. It's led to a consolidation with inside its weekly profile. It's next likely target the oscillator and change line, the top of the weekly profile. And that's up at 1333. On a monthly basis, um, what do we have out here? Really nothing that I could see other than prices pulled back, but it's trading above the top of its profile, below its green oscillator and change line. So a peak G, if in fact price could close above 1331, that would be your best outcome. But then we'll see 1333 on the um on the uh, weekly time frame, and again, the daily time frame was 1324. So 1333 is going to be the magic number. You get it close above that peak, and this is headed higher. Uh, the next request coming out here from uh, oh, that's back to AP, uh, back to uh, uh, APS Cigar inside the Tigers. And if I got that right, and the ticker symbol that we're going to look at is BBIO. And BBIO, what did this thing do? Well, this formed a sell the D point pattern. It did that with that bearish shooting star that formed on July 18th. Price right now is trading below the center of its bearish structured daily profile. A close today and tomorrow below this number, 3245, should take BBIO back to the 2853, 2967 level, the weekly chart shows a TD9 count top as well. We'll be back to finish, take a look at BBIO, and then we'll go on and take a look at SDPI for Lee. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Uh, green uh, shoots. You got all the USNCs trading to the upside. A uh, couple of sectors, well, half the sectors inside the S&P 500 trading to the downside. We're taking a look at BBIO. And uh, this we identified this form to sell the D point pattern on the daily time frame. It's got a TD9 count top that is likely to form this week, complete next week out here. Its overall signal is really neutralized because price is well above its green oscillator change line, well above the top of its weekly profiles out here. It's above the top of the monthly profile. So it's really going to be the daily time frame that is uh, what you need to be paying attention to cigar and again if we see two consecutive closes below the center of a bearish structured profile that's 3245 you're very likely going to get a move all the way down to the bottom of that profile and that's at 2853 so hope that helps you out uh, and thank you for all the requests let's go to our next request is coming in from lee lee by email writes in hey steve can we revisit sdpi as sold into yesterday's rally and wanted to get your current thoughts. Could you give me possible buy-in price or do you feel this needs a rest and I should move on? So SDPI, SDPI is, just gonna wanna see what this is actually, not that that matters, Superior, Superior Drilling Products out here. All right, let's pull this back. What is this puppy doing out here? So he had a big A to B equals CD pattern. Looks like that completed I'll pull this down here why is that up there so it, and that look that would that would kind of run like this um, I probably should show it on the weekly but I'll just do it on the daily so here's a to B so we know that and now I just got to kind of slide slide that over you, you you can all see that 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 more than made the one-to-one -one. a to B equals CD pattern out there if I pull this back yeah so yesterday was the uh, bearish engulfing candle quite a, a big one out there so that sets up your resistance at yesterday's high by the way and that high out here is two dollars and 21 cents now what prices did is it actually I might have to switch to the black background screen just so that you can more visually see this SDPI because I can easily turn off price and that's what I think I want to do out here yeah so let me do this so this is a good one to show us the power of the uh, profiles because everybody should be asking the question with regard to yesterday why did price find support where it did 
That's the real question. So we're going to change screens out here because that's going to answer. We already know the answer right now. I've sort of led you to it, which are the market profiles. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. But this is important just to understand the power of those profiles. So what I'm going to do on this daily chart, you can clearly see it, but I'm going to still turn off the price out there just so you can more easily grab these profiles for you. So we're going to turn off price. And now what you'll see here is a big old bullish structured daily profile. And that bullish structured profile support is between the range of 126 and 147. One of your questions was, where is a possible buy-in price? Now, I'm not saying that you buy it because that long, wide-ranging part of the downside, but 126 has absolutely held as support. Now, let's turn price back on out here. And so support is held. Now, it's a bullish structured profile. What price now needs to do is close back above 147 to then suggest Lee that it wants to make that move up to $2. You've got a high volume high out there. So Tom would tell you, I would tell you, price should be able to retest that high at some point in time. On the weekly time frame start, uh, chart. Let's stay here as well. This is going to have the A to B equals CD pattern as well out here. Here I can just simply draw that in. The A point down here at the low of the week that began September 19th. It looks like that high came in on the week right here of uh, March the 6th, 2023, and then the C point March 20th. So this made about a 1 to 2.618 A to B equals CD. But price also pulled back yesterday the week is not over and it tested support and support there buck 24 so you got support at 124 126 out there and you got resistance most certainly at the 238 level that happens to be the top of that monthly profile so let me make sure i answer the questions you sold it yesterday in the rally excellent you wanted to get your current thoughts i think you've got those could you give me a possible buy-in price or do you feel it needs to rest well, I can just share with you, you've got that strong, you've got support at 124 and 126. Now, on an intraday basis, let's see what we can do here. Let's pull this chart over. On an intraday basis, what do we have? What we don't have is a confirmed bottom pattern out here. And you have price consolidated with inside the daily time frame. So I wouldn't take a position in this, Lee, until I saw at least some type of intraday bottom. It doesn't have to be the 30. It could be the 65. It could be the 130. It could be the 95 out there. But that's what I would be looking for. On a daily time frame as well, we can see that uh, yesterday was day number one of the pullback. Today, maybe, maybe it has to close below yesterday's close to become day number two of the pullback. You would think, based on yesterday's move, if this thing was weak, it would at least do that. And that we would see, you know, two to three days would be the normal retracement uh, on, a, uh, on a pullback on this in a bullish market. So I'd kind of be watching that as well. So to summarize it, yeah, price definitely found support. Do we have an intraday pattern that tells us that that's the time to buy in? Not on the 30 minute, but we didn't investigate the other ones out there. So LB, I hope that that helps you out. And thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Much appreciated. Last question that I see, I believe. Nope, okay, I can do natural gas. All right, next question is from Dan the Man Levitan. Dan wants to take a look at AMC. We take a look at AMC. Let's get those stock charts up on our screen here. Yesterday, big old rally right into where TD9 count breakdown resistance. Not only just as TD9 count breakdown, re oh, i got to change screens here. Otherwise, Mr. Bill's going to nail me. I think I might have got it in. He was probably typing, but I think I caught myself. Here's the daily time frame charts now, or daily, weekly, monthly for AMC. So big old rally yesterday. Why did it stop where it did? The TD9 count, TD9 count breakdown resistance, 595. And it's all TD9 count pattern. It also has resistance right up here. That's the trading day of uh, May the 5th. And that high is $6.11. That's what price would need to close above to suggest that this thing wants to make a move to 675. So now you're trading between support, 426 and 409, a resistance at 597. Turns out on the weekly time frame chart, you've got resistance at the top of its profile out there. The top of that profile is at 592. And on a monthly basis, AMC has got resistance to the bottom of the monthly profile, and that's at $6.14 out there. On a short term time frame, we don't see a bottom, at least not as of yet, but likely to get one here. Well, may get one here. As price is trading with inside, it's 30-minute profile, bullish in structure. But what it really needs to do, it's got to spike below the low of the day so far, which is down at 503. It's got to do that within the next couple of hours to generate a potential TD9 count bottom. So with regard to AMC, the daily 
ran into resistance. The weekly is dealing with resistance right now. The monthly also dealing with resistance out there. Um, what's the next move? You know, the 30-minute uh, the, uh, chart suggests sideways to lower out there. That's what I see as we speak right now. Dano, I hope that that helps you out. And uh, best of luck to you with uh, whatever trade it is that you're trying to put on there. Uh, next question. Just trying to go through, make sure I've got these out here. Any updates on natural gas? So let's go pull up the natural gas charts out here, and that will give us the updates. So give me a moment. It'll take a minute for these natural gas charts to populate. A N. There we go. Natural gas. Oh, Mr. Bill, he was typing. I knew it. Caught you. Actually, you caught me, and thanks. I appreciate that. I hate to go through a whole chart like that, be on the wrong screen, and then have to redo that for everybody. Uh, listening to me one time could be enough to, you know, second time? Oof. In any event, Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We're going to take a look at natural gas, see if there's any update there. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's go take a look at the natural gas charts. That's not what I got up on my screen here, but we're going to correct that here momentarily. And has there been any change out there? The answer is no, not really. What we know about natural gas is on a daily basis, and I'll just simply expand out the chart, is what we have is a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside its profile. And what that ranges from is uh, 250 
2.501, that's your support level. 2.757 is your resistance area. Now, there is a sell the D point pattern out here. So in order for natural gas to really get bullish out here, price is going to have to close above the high of June 26. And that high is $2.91. If price closes above that, that will then set up an A to B equals CD pattern. We don't have that as we speak just yet. Instead, what we have is just simply a good old-fashioned consolidation. If I look at any of the other charts out here, so as we size this one down properly, weekly, beautiful bottom, that bottom, roads momentum indicator bottom, consolidation with inside its profile. Now, what we're really looking for here, or what I'd like to see, is I'd like to see a monthly close. That's going to be next Monday. Can natural gas close below 2.676? Now, that's coming from the continuous contract. I might need to go back, try to take a look at that. Um, but two, right now, that's the number that we're going to use out here, 2.676. That was the close that I'm showing for that month. That month, by the way, is... That was a March of 2023. If we get that, then what we would have on the monthly basis is a TD9 count bottom. Of course, that bottom could be confirmed the following month. Roads momentum indicator bottom on the uh, weekly time frame. And if we pull the daily back out here, the daily didn't have a bottom pattern. Does it have to? No, it doesn't have to at this stage here. And then the PS day resistance would be natural gas on a yearly basis is in bar number nine of a TD nine count. So if ever there was going to be a major bottom inside of natural gas, that signal could come at the close next Monday. And so let's take a look at it on Monday or Tuesday. It will probably be Tuesday of next week. Folks, stay tuned for some great programming. Thank you so much for joining me here on Terrific Tuesday. I'll see you back on wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day. Take care. Be safe out there.